how to create a scalable complete backend for your web and mobile applications. Hi, this week in Alternative 2 we're going to talk about Superbase. It is a backend as a service and provide a bunch of useful features databases, authentication, cloud functions, and storage. It enables the scaling from the very beginning of the development of your project, which means you don't have to worry about it and just have to focus on coding your backend features. Even for coding your backend, you don't start from zero. It probably reminds you services such as AWS Amplify or Firebase. And it's totally normal as Superbase market itself as the open source alternative of Firebase. But despite there are already good solutions, there are proprietary softwares and running big projects on it can become very pricey. While with Superbase, your backend relies completely on free open source softwares. Before we have a look at the platform, let's see more in depth on their website what it has to offer. Build in a weekend, scale to millions. Okay, let's check their features. So we have database. The main difference with Firebase is that it comes with PostgreSQL, so it's relational database compared to non-relational. It's come with a UI to edit your database, so they market it as spreadsheet like editing, but it's a PHP my admin, but for your PostgreSQL database. Of course, you have access to a SQL editor to run your queries directly in your dashboard, and it automatically generates a REST and a GraphQL API for CRUD operations. So you write queries only when you don't want to do default things. Let's go to their second project, which is authentication. They provide all those identity providers, which is quite useful. They just do the authentication, but they also do authorization and user management. So you can define roles on your users. And with those roles, you will have access to different tables in your backend and you can only see and not edit. So it's very useful. Globally, it avoids you to deploy this module on every project you start and you have a reliable solution you can use everywhere. Let's go to storage. Here it's like an S3 cloud storage alternative. And for the open source alternative, it will be Minio. The advantage here is that it's directly integrated with the base. So for example, you won't have to generate signatures. It provides file preview, so you can see them directly in your dashboard. For people using S3, they know that when you want to see your files, there is not an intuitive UI, you have to store them and display them. And as all Superbase features, it comes with simple API to use. You also have cloud function here. Basically, it's backend functions running in the cloud, so it's like AWS Lambda. It's heavily scalable because it is serverless, so you can run as many as you want. It also uses Dino on, under the hood, so you have high performances. They show that you can use for everything, well, it's because you write your backend code here. For all TypeScript lovers, just know that it's TypeScript ready, so you can use it. And last functionalities you have is a real time, so you can use WebSockets directly with Zappa Base. Just if we have a look at their GitHub repository about real time, they don't check the production ready checkbox, so it means it's not in its final phase and maybe you should avoid to use it or be prepared to do some modifications. One good thing it does is that you can have events on your database and impact the UI directly with events. To run Superbase, you have three solutions. The first one is to run it on Docker and manage the hosting yourself. The second one is to use the free tier from Superbase. And the last one is to use the LSTO for a fully managed service. Just be aware that the self-hosted solution, so on LSTO and on your servers, it doesn't come with all the features, so it only includes database and authentication. So for us, it's not a complete open source backend solution because it's only database and authentication. Maybe they plan to do it in the future, but for now, you have to be on Superbase, which make it those features proprietary. Let's start by setting up our Superbase instance. So go on LSTO, login, and create a service. Deploy my first service. Let's check out for Superbase. Select. We take the default one, and next. Let the default value because it's just for demonstration purpose. We should receive an email as soon as the Superbase is ready. Okay, so I just received an email telling me that my Superbase instance is ready, so let's go on it. 
username is root and on lsto let's go to admin and copy the password and paste it here so we arrive on our dashboard and we have a default project already set up before doing anything something i like to do is to see the documentation it's been very recently redesigned so it's very good looking you have getting started tutorial to work with your favorite framework if you select one you know exactly what you have to do to be able to interact with your front-end application with your super base instance for each one of their feature they have categories where you have the detail on how everything works even videos are provided before starting i advise you to have some read through the documentation and know what is possible to do if you go to getting started there is also a page name architecture so you understand how it works under the hood and how to create your project with it and what you can see is that everything relies on open source software so let's see a bit what the dashboard has to offer so let's go to our project and once we are in our project we have some features here if you are using the free tier you will notice that we are missing the storage and cloud functions because it's not on the open source self-hosted solution so let's start by going to table editor a basic but very useful database editor so we can create a new table let's name it articles let's say we want to create a blog we have our columns it's postgre based so you have all the type from Postgre. Let's add the title. You can say it's a varchar with 200 characters. You add a description. Let's say you want a text because you don't know what you will put inside and you hit save. So here you can always edit the column. You can add filters and sort. So here you can add column, so it opens a sidebar. And you can also insert a row, it also opens a sidebar. So the ID is automatically generated. The created at is the same. And how to deploy a super base instance. And just hello, let's save. And here you can edit directly or open in big and edit here. Here, this is the public schema, but what you can see is that your project directly come with protected schema. So you have auth and the authentication module that come with it. So if you go, you can see identities, you can see your users. Here I have known, but it's ready to use. And once you create account and login, you will see everything here. One, one feature that I really like is triggers, but they are not available in the open source self-hosted version, which is every time a row is added to your table or edited or deleted, you can execute some logic code. But here we can't use it. Here you can execute um, default queries. So let's do select everything from articles. And we have our, our article here. If you go to API, you can see that it automatically generated articles. You can copy paste code to directly interact with your database without writing queries, but just using the Superbase SDK. You can basically do everything. You can insert a row, update, absurd, delete, subscribe to events. You also have the documentation for the authentication. So let's see what we have in authentication. You can see we don't have users, but you can invite user before doing anything front related. You can define policies. So you can say uh, those kind of users only can read articles and you are sure no one will be able to edit or delete them unless they are admin of the platform. So to make it working, you have policies. So you have get started quickly, or you can write fully customizable policies. Conclusion, at LSTO, we really like Superbase. We really think it's a promising tool, but for now, it's not a complete backend solution because the self-hosted version doesn't provide cloud functions and storage. We really hope they will make it available in the coming month or years. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about Superbase. 
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below or to join our Discord community server. If you think this video is insightful, please hit the like button as it helps our channel to grow. Also, subscribe to the channel to be notified when new alternative to videos are out. Thanks a lot for watching, bye bye.